Well, it's finally here. The parcel I've been waiting for for oh, a few weeks now has finally arrived all the way from America, as I've been promising you on several videos. This is the package I've been waiting from Rick's uh, Motorsports Electrics. It is the three regulator rectifiers I've been waiting to put on these three builds, especially the GS and the CX, because I want those to run, and without this, I'm going to be frying a battery. So, let's see this. You stay there, but. Welcome to the mess. Step over everything. Seriously need a bigger boat. Especially now that the Ducati's in there. In fact, I just need to sort the place out. I really do. This workbench as well. Oh, God, look at that. Right, let's clear that. Alright, so that's... Is that clean? Oh, let's give it a quick... Oh, where's my hoodie? Right. All the way from US of A. Where's my knife? This feels like Christmas. I can't believe how excited I am for this package. It's going to bring all my hopes and dreams to life. I can come out. Custom sheet. Come on. What Santa bought us. So. Yeah, don't need that, that's got my address on. That's not going in. Oh, this is the box of goodies. And a <laughs> red atomic fireball. Yes, please, that's going straight in my mouth. So, um, the guys and gals at Rick's Motorsports Electrics, seriously, seriously good customer support. And I'm not just saying that, they are seriously good customer support. I shouldn't really be talking with a fireball in my mouth. Oh yes, there's another one. Excellent. Amazing. Keep that for later. But yeah, if you ever want to deal with a company which will look after you, I mean seriously look after you, and keep you updated. I mean there was a bit of a delay with the order, but that's only because I was waiting for the regulator rectifier for the CB750 that they hadn't developed yet. That was still in development, so I had to wait for that to be done before I got the CX and the GS. Only because it was cheaper on postage and tax and everything that way. But we have got some Stickers here. Excellent. That is going straight on my laptop and on my tool chest. More stickers. Amazing. Beer can holder. Hey, it's pretty cute. Biro and amazing t shirt. So I'll definitely be wearing that actually. Excellent. So thank you to the people that dealt with me at customer service. Maria, especially, you've been an absolute angel on helping me here. So Thank you so much for that. Let's put that somewhere safe. Now to business. Just need to try and figure out which one's which now. Uh, Alright, so they've all got codes. I'm probably going to have to cross-reference the codes on my purchase order with the codes on these to actually figure out what's what. Basically, the reason we needed these new regulator rectifiers for, for these three bikes is because they're pre-1980s. I know the CX is 1982, but I'm not too sure myself when that crossover was, when, when kind of things changed for that. It's, the general rule is anything over 1980, the bike's charging system would be okay for a, for a lithium-ion battery. But I didn't want to take that chance with the CX. For the sake of buying a new regulator rectifier, it's a lot cheaper than buying a new battery. So. Weighing up the odds, I got one for the CX as well. In the shortest way possible, without understanding too much about what these do, they stop your battery from overloading, overcharging, and then frying. So, they're good. Good for me. Keeps your battery nice and in check. Right, so, oh, let's see, where's my list? Right, so, here goes. The 103 is the CB750K. The 103, here we go. Nice one, amazing. Of course it looks new. It's nice and neat, what do you expect? Uh, the 505. That is that one there. I'm guessing that's for the CX500. I need to double check that with them just in case, just to make sure it's the right one actually. It did say in the original order form that it was the 505. But that's a 110. 202. This is for the GS550. Yep, 
Here we go. Oh, amazing stuff. It's actually got the original things on there. Great stuff. So that is literally a plug and play. The only thing I need to check is this one. The 110, make sure that it is the right one. Now no more. Yes, this is definitely for the CX500. They've assured me that the numbers on the order was only kind of a temporary number because they actually made this for me. Amazeballs. The other thing that they have told me is that the black wire from my wiring is made redundant with this new system here. What I need to do is tape up the black wire and just connect these two. Happy days. First thing, I can actually remove this absolute disgrace wiring system. So one thing, I'll be glad to tidy up all this wire. So this is the old one out. This is the new one. Does it fit? Is it like for like? Yes, it is like for like on the hole, so I don't actually have to drill new holes. Amazing! The one mod I've got on here is I need to chop these off. And I need to put them into one. And so that is it, they're all plugged in. Obviously I need to neaten all these wires up, I need to finish off what I've soldered here and things. But that is in, the regulator rectifier is in place now. That shouldn't fry my battery, so I'm happy now. On to the next job. And that next job is gonna be in the next video. I need to wheel the bike out, change the fuel petcock on the tank, but I don't, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna film that or not. It's such an easy job. There's no real point filming it. The tank's off the bike at the moment, so I might as well change that now. Then I've got no leaks to worry about. So the next proper job is to actually sink the carbs, tune the bike properly, and then there's one more job after all that, and that is to just get the dials set up. Get the dials working with the Speedo and with the Taco as well. So we're seriously close. I need to go over the bike again, just to make sure that everything's tightened up. All the levels, oil levels, we've got the Oh gosh, we've got the brake fluid levels to worry about, water levels, oil levels, gear levels in the back as well because this is shaft drive, I've got to make sure that the grease is all going all through the shaft. But it's looking really good, really positive on this. Tomorrow's video, uh, I'm going to try and put five videos up this week. I know it might be a mammoth of a feat, but let's, let's give it a go. Tomorrow's video, I'll be fitting the regulator rectifier on the GS. It's such a small job, but it's uh, an absolute crucial part of the GS build so I thought I might as well put a video on there just so that it's a full series on YouTube and you can see exactly what I've done onto that I think it's important I put that video in so that will be tomorrow's video and there'll be more announcements and all sorts and motor vlogs this week this week is going to be a busy week for you so if you're a fan of this channel hope you enjoy all that's going to come if you're not then subscribe you can follow f four bikes now three builds, one Ducati. Remember to hit that bell button as well if you want to get instant notifications of when these videos are up. 
Follow me on Instagram, always daily shots, Instagram stories on there, and also you can support this channel at fullerboldindustries.com. See if there's a t-shirt you like, or tea, or hoodie, or anything like that. So with that all said, have a good evening, enjoy, safe riding, see you tomorrow.